Hello and welcome to my humble home. So here's my shack. And uh, the reason that we're here is we're going to do a back to basics version of computer craft. So this is for those who have no idea how to get started with computer craft. Now I'm going to assume that you have already done the basics. You've dug yourself a mine deep into the earth. You've gathered yourself up some some coal and some stone and some diamond and some redstone. I'm going to also assume that you've cut down your trees, that you've made yourself a little house, and you need to gather some some sugar cane. Now you don't need a mascot, but I have Stevie here, Stevie the pig. Uh, he's over here in my little pen. So let's say you have all the basic components. How do you get started with computer craft? Well, let's go ahead and make a little desk next to my bed here, and we'll go ahead and get started. So first you need to take the cobblestone that you have and you have smelt or, and just fuse it into stone with using some coal. And once you've done that, making a computer is pretty simple. So to start with, you just put the six glass blocks on the bottom two columns to make some glass panes. I've already made some. And a computer is just seven stone surrounding a redstone, and that's the CPU, that's the processor one redstone processing power and there's a computer you're also going to want a disk drive which is simply this stone around two redstone there's a disk drive and a disk is pretty simple as well it's just one piece of paper with the redstone in the middle so the red the papers on the bottom and the redstone is above it and that actually does matter which order you put it in so Let's actually try to turn off the rain because of the noise. I should probably turn that off in the options, but I haven't done that yet. So I'm just going to go to cheat mode briefly to turn off the rain for you guys. So then we've made ourselves a disk drive. We've made ourselves a computer. I didn't make the disk yet, so that's one redstone in the center with one piece of paper. If you wanted to make a modem, which you don't need for any of the earlier, I think it's just stone around a redstone torch. So let's make a redstone torch and a stone around it. So there's a wireless modem. We're not going to be using that since this is the basics, but it's nice to know. And also, why don't we make another, another computer here that we can turn into a turtle. So a turtle is simply a computer. And you're going you're gonna to need a chest as well. I hope I have enough wood. I'm not sure I do. Uh, let's see. This will turn into six, seven. I should have enough. Okay. So rubber wood I shouldn't be using. It only turns into three planks. But I don't want to make anyone. Let's just do this quickly. So we've got a chest. So all you do for a turtle is you take a computer that you've made. And you want to give it a chest. And you, then you need to give it some reinforcements. So you're going to throw some iron around that. And there you go, you've got a turtle. And the last piece that we're going to be making is a mining turtle. And those are actually pretty expensive because they take a diamond pickaxe. So, in fact, I don't even have enough wood right now to make one. So we're going to make that later. But for your, for your knowledge, all it takes to make one is a turtle with a diamond pickaxe next to it. So let's go ahead and set this up and see how you use a computer. How do you get around using the computer? And before I do that, why don't I cook some food because I'm I'm getting a little low on uh, food right now. Oh, I have some cooked food already. Delicious pork chop. So if you want to set up a computer, you just put it on the table in front of you. And the reason I recommended making a disk drive is because if you make a file here, so I'm going to do, so to make a file right well, let's start with the, the, ba the real basics. So here, this is the screen that you see when you first right-click on a computer. And this is uh, almost like any of computers at, at, that you have at your house. It has folders or directories. It has files in it. So the way to see the files wherever you are is you type in ls to list the files. And right now, there's only one that you can see. It's called ROM, and that's read-only memory. So this is a file that you can run, but you can't edit anything inside here. So the way that you go into a folder is you do go CD, and this is also called a directory, and that means change directory. So change directory ROM will take you into ROM. And if you do LS now, it'll show you all the folders inside ROM. And if you want to go back 
one, then you do cd dot dot. So now we're back to the the original, the starting folder. So there's already some programs that come with it. So if I do ls, you can see this directory. And if you're not sure whether it's a directory or a file, you can do type programs, and it'll tell you whether it's a a, a file or a directory. So this one's a, a directory. And you can run these programs here inside the program file. And so all of these have different uh, different things that you can do. Uh, you can it shows you the program that we're using. L list is the ls directory. It's an alias. Uh, exit, delete. So if you want to delete a file, now right now ls is an alias for list. If you want to make your own alias, you can do alias. And let's say, you, well, let's see what l does right now. So right now l doesn't do anything. Alias l list. And now if you type in L, it runs list. So that's a way if you want to make an alias. If you use one of these a lot and you want to uh, make a shorter version of it, you can use that. But the point is there's all these programs that are already made. You might want to look at these. You might want to run them. If you want to see what's in them, you type in edit in the program name. So if you wanted to see how list works, you do edit list. And these are sometimes pretty complicated. But you're welcome to look at those. So. That's how you get around. You do the CD and also CD dot dot. And if you want to just go right back to the, the starting directory, you can do CD slash, and that will take you back to the starting directory. Now, if you want to create a file, it's pretty simple. The program that you use is called edit, and then you give it a file name. So this right now, there's no file called test, but we're going to do edit test. And then you just make your file. So this is going. These are going to be Lua commands. These are going to be the programming language. So one of the Lua commands is print, and we're going to print hello world, and hit Control, and then hit Enter to save. Control and see down here. You can use left and right. Now exit. Now if we do ls, we can see that program here called test. And to run it, you just write type in the name of the program and it runs. Now the reason that I recommended making a disk drive is because even though this program test exists on this computer, if you destroy the computer and put it back, that program test will no longer exist. So a disk is a way to make a program that will stay. So you put down the disk drive next to the computer and then you just put the disk in the, in the disk drive. And now when you type in ls you'll see a disk directory. So now if you go into disk, anything that you create here, let's do edit test, and then we're going to do the same thing, print hello world. And now whatever you've typed in will be saved on that disk. So if I get rid of this computer, and I put it right back, then I do uh, disk, cd disk, and then I run test, hello world. In fact, if I destroy both the computer and the disk drive, and I put them both down, if, as long as I put the same disk in, and the disk has a number, so I don't know if you can see, but it says floppy disk 4256 colon 6, the sixth disk has this program. And no matter how many times you take it in or take it out, the programs will stay there. So that's the basics. That's how you make yourself a computer. That's how you make yourself a, a disk drive how you make yourself a modem, a turtle, and again, the mining turtle is just a, a diamond pickaxe next to a turtle. So next time, what we're going to do is we're going to go into just some simple programs. So how you can use if statements, how you can use functions. Uh, I'm also going to talk a little bit about comments. And we're going to have a little series here about, about the basics of programming. And so if you've seen some of the other uh, projects that we've been working on and you think, you know, I want to do this but I don't understand, well go ahead and watch these next few tutorials and I'll talk about how to, from the very basic steps, how to program using ComputerCraft. So uh, until next time, happy computing.